Well, let's get back to the market. Stocks are up across the board today. Our next guest says maybe you should take advantage of this opportunity to be a little more cautious in your portfolio, maybe do a little bit of selling today. John Hussman is who we're talking about. He knows a thing or two about investing. His strategic total return fund, it's outperformed 99% of its peers over the past five years. And he wrote in his uh, latest weekly commentary that he's seeing some signs now that are not uh, terribly optimistic, at least in the short term. John, thank you so so much for joining us uh, joining us by the way from Maryland let's talk first of all about some of the comments that you made in your newsletter what are some of the recent market trends that you have seen that lead you to believe that today is just an upward blip and we're gonna see a resumption perhaps of declines sure well we write a weekly comment uh, on the uh, website and over the last several months I've I've made fairly uh, strong statements that that the market has been characterized by an overvalued overbought over bullish syndrome that we typically see followed through by slight marginal new highs and then a fairly abrupt downward break uh, and that's exactly what we've seen in recent weeks the problem now is that in addition to that downward break uh, we've seen a, a number of other features uh, that that have also been very dangerous. One is uh, we've seen a breadth, uh, a very heavy downside breadth last week, 10 that to 1 means, that declines means more versus advances. advances right. Exactly. Uh, and we also saw uh, what we call a leadership reversal, where, where new lows on the New York Stock Exchange expanded to the point where they've been above new highs, where new highs have been have been ahead uh, for for months, so, uh, so for in about other the words, past nine or ten months. So in other words, sort of below the surface here, yes, we have had uh, declines in stocks, but at the same time, mm -hmm. these other indicators are saying <laughs> that there's even more pessimism out there than just the, the declines on the face of it would seem to indicate. Yeah, we've seen uh, what what you would call uh, a, a, a very strong deterioration in what people call market internals, and we've looked back uh, historically, and we identify about 19 instances of this, yeah. uh, and the, the, these are uh, noted on the website. But basically, only f about four of them ended up with fairly benign outcomes. The rest were associated with an average decline over the next 12 weeks of about seven percent in the S and P, mm -hmm. which expanded to a loss of about okay. 20% within 12 months. All right.